In Matthew chapter 6, it says, Who by worrying can add to their life? Do not worry about tomorrow. Pagans run after these things. National emergency. Philippians 4 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. My sheets are melting so fast. An interesting fact about humanity is that whatever you feed grows. Financial pandemic. If you feed your faith, it grows. If you feed your fears, they so grow. It's all spiral very quickly. It's going to get worse. Some have to live and some have to die. Realize that our time is better spent talking to the Father than getting all worked up and reading and feeding our minds with the news and the media about what everybody is saying about how this is doom and gloom and how money, which we have hoped in, is lost. Hope not in money. Hope in your Father, your God, Jesus Christ, your Savior. Have your faith and use it. Walk according to it. Whatever you feed grows. This is the time to press into the church, lean into the church, to be surrounded by God's people. We can offer prayers for one another. We can offer hope to one another. We can speak words of truth to one another. If you feast on the word of God and you renew your minds around the truth, your faith, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But if you go to the news and you read article after article after quote after talking head and you continue to feed those fears, they grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Whatever you feed grows. Today, did you wake up this morning and feast on the word of God and go to him in prayer? Or did you feed your fears? Wow, what a powerful video. And it's true. In Romans chapter 12, it says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. You know, the Word of God just speaks volumes to us, and it helps us get through life. It helps us get through all the panic that the world is going through right now. And you know, I'll tell you a little secret. We're just fulfilling biblical prophecy as we go forward, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And many people will have to decide, are they going to pick up their cross and follow Jesus? When Jesus picked up his cross, he didn't want to go. He didn't want to die. He didn't want to have to suffer. He didn't want to do any of those things. He asked the Lord, if there's any other way, Lord, take this cup from me. But he didn't do it. God put in front of him a lot of things he didn't want to go through. But it was the way that God had set forth to bring about victory. Do you want to have victory in your life? Sometimes we have to go through it. The pain, the suffering, the agony, the fear, the doubt, all those things. So it brings you to the major question. Do you trust God? Do you trust Him? Pick up your cross and follow Him. This is Steve Bell from TakeCross.com.